Welcome back to Breaking Biomutant. In our last episode... What did we do our last episode? We've been cleaning up a few quests. Uh, I think we did the Muscle Squeezers, which gave us some vitality. We're looking for Stat Boosters, which one of the benefits is if you find one, then it'll give you the mission to find the rest. Do I want to get in here? Can I get in here? I have the radiation suit. We did find that. Ah. Matter of fact, why am I not using my mount? But at this point, everything's pretty much uh, finished up. The only thing that we have to break the game even further is to unlock a specific uh, Psy Freak skill. We've already gotten the light aura needed for it, and of course, eventually we're going to start farming the dark aura. But right now, we are looking for stat you boosts. Located the village named Loblidurk. I do enjoy the village names. Now, I've said in previous videos, uh, villages usually have a unique a quest related to them. Um, sometimes they really don't, or the quest will bring you there, you know, the quest starts somewhere else and it just happens to bring you to the town. So if you want to take the time, explore around, and see what you can do, that is completely up to you. I need to get on the other side of that waterfall. You know, always be on the lookout for scavengeables. You know, right now we are in the lookout for a lot of scrap because we used a bunch of scrap to get our new uh, melee weapon and our pistol upgrade. And again, you didn't have to completely follow my build if you wanted to. I just... The Freak is incredibly broken. And you still have a good amount of options when it comes to uh, supporting firearms and melee weapons, in my opinion. Now, I had had an idea, and we will test out the theory eventually. That looks like a fluff hulk nest. Okay, then. Not entirely sure what's going on here, but everybody's an enemy, it seems. So, this is how it's incredibly broken in the fact that we've got this massive. Oh, oh, oh leave me alone. A massive encounter. Ow. And we're staying relatively unharmed, and when harm does come to us, uh, our offensive capability heals us. Do, do you see how... Yeah. I'm not complaining. If it sounds like I'm complaining, I'm really not, actually. This is quite glorious in my opinion, but... But anyway, as I was uh, speaking of earlier, the idea I had is I need shrine points, and I'm not incredibly confident I n know where to get a good amount of shrines for those side point upgrades. But my idea was, since we already uh, have a water mount, I'm thinking of fast traveling down to the Surf of Pelago. And then just seeing if I can't see a few from a shoreline. But I want this muscle squeezer first. Or run board, we did the muscle squeezers. Just because any stat boost right now is going to help us out. 
uh, just let alone because it's a stat boost, but also for equipment unlocks. Let us know how many more points we need to put where, or if we even need to. One of the reasons I wonder what finally love the helicopter pack. Saul's trunk is good for it too. And oh, hello, gorgeous! Totally equipped. Just because that region should be nice. Zip. I oh, love it. All right. and scavenge around. Nice try, bud. Oh, come on. That's all the superb loot. Ooh, nice top mod. We know where the run board is. Alright. So, chalk up another old world bomb shaper. Easy. You run like the wind. And there's some agility increase. Fantastic. Now, if we're looking at the last of them, off here to the west, we're lucky for two reasons. One, it's in an area with a clothes soaker, apparently, because it just can't decide on the whatever, and a wump is nearby. Where we're unlucky, is there's a cliff in our way. Well, two different ways to handle that. So, I must apologize if you happen to hear uh, strange noises in the background. My dog just had puppies recently, so... You might hear little yelps. Or whatnot, right now, I think. They're attacking mommy for lunch, so I know I'm hearing some odd slapping noises and whatnot. It is one of the cutest things ever. Alright, so here we are at Wump in the Yurp Fields, which is just fun to say. Um, that's... I'm wagering a guess that we might be able to hop up this with combined skills. So let's see if I am correct. Alright, so... We're gonna do here... oh no. Perhaps not. We're gonna try and do a combination of wall jumps and then a helicopter. There we go. Hmm. This is where that might not work, but let's not count anything out just yet. If we can find. There's a ledge right there. That worked. Nope. Alright. Oh, come on now. I think those propeller blades would make the bubble pop. But, video game logic, right? Or should we say, video game ill logic. Now how'd I do this beforehand? No, don't miss the ledge. There she is. Alright. No, 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 no! Well, this seems like it might be a waste of time. Oh, come on. I 
at first it seemed like a nice idea. Alright, so we're just gonna go around. Boing. Boing. I'm sorry, it's just a fun skill, too. I mean... How can you argue with that? Alright, settlers or bandits? Settlers, and nobody's got a side quest? Sorry, I ain't got time. A crossway. That was rather this rude of me. You have a choice to make. Which Body way? shaper. We are on the hunt for those. Everything else can uh, wait until later. But ooh, wheel the control box handle. Now, buzz the one. one of the reasons that this is a good find, even though it's mid game right now, uh, which mid game we're up ready to go. loaded up with a bunch of uh, you know, epics, rares, maybe some legendaries. All of these are going to be common, but that's a beautiful thing because you just got a full set of common. Which means you also got all the scrap that common's made up of when you dismantle it. And armor and whatnot is great for scrap pieces. So if you're missing some stuff, scrap some stuff you're never gonna wear. Thank goodness we already got the claw ball or stuff. That's one of the reasons we took priority on that. Huh. Where in the world would this body shaper be? Yeah, yeah. We'll actually check through it all later. Cause I just want the body shaper. Just because if the run board is off in the distance there, then this should be a whole different body shaper and give us the other mission we may possibly need to get other stat boosts. Do you see my line of thinking? Do you agree? I knew we were I friends for a reason. There we go. Left, right, right. left, right. So, I do believe these are the ones Something for strength. Looking yep. Better. Fantastic. So that gets strength, agility, and vitality. Which should be all the body shapers if I remember correctly. The guns flexes. That's funny. That's a nice add-on. And some pants. Alright. Since that's what we were here for... Uh, let's switch back to the run board and then we'll go to the gun flexors so I still need to go up which means I need to go around but eventually uh, whenever we run out of worthy goals like stat boosters here we're gonna go on to shrine hunts and I'm still because the way I see it is the water surface uh, cuts out enemy encounters because all you have are boats and they're kind of sparse and easy to deal with especially since we have an upgraded pistol um, this region is or whatever you know upgraded you can't find a harder place in the world whatever you happen to prefer as far as firearms are concerned sadly you can't cast while you're uh, mounted or piloting a vehicle which I don't see why not how kind of comical to see them just play ball with you while you slowly chip their life down.
Ow. How about that? All right. All that for an e-waste tower. At least it was a good e-waste tower. Four pieces. So let's take our level. And as you can see now, our vitality's up, our strength is up, our agility's up. So hey, keep pumping that intellect. Smarty. Still need two more side points. Put that upgrade point up. Go ahead and get ourselves a bird swirl. It's one of my favorites. Pop two shots. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna have fun with that. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody have fun tonight. We're gonna Wang Fu with the Wang Chong. All of that just did not sound like English. That old home might not be stripped clean yet. Made him sound like a criminal. Wonders house. Clean. Alrighty. So always talk to uh, any settlers that got a side quest, just because why not? You're going to get bored eventually. It's going to point out some stuff to do. All right, and here's the thing we were looking Just for. One foot in front of the other. Easy. You run like the wind. All right. More agile we have become. So they're saying there's stuff in the basement. I know I ran past something. It's a what? With the huh? Because of the things in the way? Eh. Scrap. You need to turn Close the soaker. Wow. Well, someone forgot to program the little dot in the center. But again, we have so many moves, it wouldn't have mattered if we were trying you to figure it out. Spin. Ooh, new mask? No, they keep giving us the same thing. But again, that's extra scrap, so... Nothing ever really goes to waste. Sounds like a good motto for the apocalypse, doesn't it? Welcome to your doom, where nothing really ever goes to waste. Make sure to take anything you can carry and put it to good use. Don't think you can find a purpose for it right now? That's fine. Stash it for later and eventually you'll find a use for it. Don't have the space? That's okay. Hide it somewhere special, and then go nomadic. Eventually, you'll come back and can get that special item again. Am I trying to make the apocalypse sound more appealing? Gosh, that's just sick. Alright, so let's get back to it. Keep scavenging. Alright, so now it wants the blimp station follow the trail with the home. And the guard here says he's got some side quest for us. Greasy Queasy, the dirty friend. Oh, okay, well, that's nice. Instead, we're gonna continue on with these, uh... Guns flexors. Oh my, where did that put us? Is that the Surf Pelago area? No, that's the Canup Stones some more. Yeah. Ah, uh, from what I can see, I'm gonna have to go up and around. Stick to this path we're on. Great. Now, as I've said before, I'm not huge on the mounts, just because I keep dismounting and interacting with whatever an encounter with enemies or scrap and such. 
Most of the time, I'm trying to find ways to climb up with... Oh, hi. Goodbye. I wasn't ready for all that, but there's a scrap tower. And... You know what, you two. You can get it. Kinda worked out any better. Ow! I was giving you a compliment, guy. Ooh, with the ow and the can you not? You know what? You know you're not very nice. Did Mama not hug you enough? You know I keep forgetting that I have explosive ammo. figures. I just remembered I was a Wung Fu expert. I am hearing small critters in the area too, so this might be even more pay dirt than I thought. Alright. Small critters I am not seeing though. Hmm. Oh well. Go ahead and mount back up. You finally found the village of Bumlidoff. That's a good name. Let's I see. like that one, Bumlidoff. Rolls from the tongue. Alright, so. Isn't that just gorgeous? Don't know what that did for me, but we'll find out. And you'll discover with me. Let's go, friends. Okay, that just made me sound creepy. Overkill. Alright, moving on. For some reason, I hear everybody in the comment section, We're not friends! I just use you to break games! I'm okay with that. Oh, come on. Thank you. Guessing that's a ride through ATM. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Okay, thank goodness there's no fall damage. Because if not, that mount is... Well, we're both probably just gone. It's over. Another one? Is it just you? I can do that too, you know? Aha! I faked you out there, bud. Oh, you stink. Well, that was fun. The game really does change whenever you, uh, lose that whole worry of, oh no, I'ma die, now that I'm a, you know, a wizard healing tank. You can have fun, do the stuff you wanted to try but never had the chance. Oh, Mirage, yeah. have you finally... No, 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 no! Oh, come on! I even How touched cool. him! Alright. Now like I have said- Ooh, yeah, the sludge filled. 
I don't even know if I've got... Wait, I got the oxygen suit. Eh, we're skipping that for now. Ah, that's not fair. Ooh. But, again, it, uh, the first time that you actually meet Mirage, you have to reach him in time for a video to load, and it was already on his animation to leave. I'm still not happy about it. And these guys are going to pay for it. Oh, so I'd like that? Might still have some stuff in it. And now that's the real beauty of it, is whenever uh, you see the quick heal button pop up, instead of you panic pressing the uh, up button, instead, start panic uh, casting spells. Eventually, we're just going to have it to where two spells are constantly cast and everything dies. Whatever's close to you gets hit with the key spark, and uh, whatever's not close to you gets the homing ability of the Rad Wisp. Not to mention we could throw in... Ooh, that was a nice Kerblonker. Um, throw in some of the Spark Ball or even... Uh, ah, plastic scrap. Or even uh, the Fireball if we go down that path of darkness and deceit. Which I, I yeah, probably will. Going well. One arm, then the other. One arm and then the other. What about the third arm? Oh wait, I haven't mutated that far. Pumping good. Looking better. Strength increase, always nice. Now my first playthrough, I hadn't discovered these as a side quest before I pumped in a few skills to uh, compensate for a two-handed weapon and a pistol. I'm hearing critters again. There they are. But uh, it's really no big deal. You can put it wherever you want. Um, with these creatures, I'm collecting them because eventually people are going to ask to get them collected anyway. If I was going for some dark, I would kill the poor little thing, but then I wouldn't have it for the mission. So right now I'm just keeping them. I'm not petting them to get the light. Where's the other one? Oh, it's out there. That's not too bad. Now, are we going to go to Wump again? One more time to the womp. I mean, we could go from... Bumbly Doff. Let's do that. Just because it's fun to say Bumbly Doff. Honestly, I probably should cut this one off. It's starting to get a bit long, I do believe. But we're just going to run straight for this last gun flexor. Uh, moral of today's video and last video at that is... Good idea as soon as possible to grab any stat boosters. Now, I do believe that that's all three of the ones that there are. Um, that I don't think there's one to boost your luck that I'm aware of, and there isn't one to boost your intelligence I'm aware of. But, you know, the beauty of it... Hey, do I have the pip for you? I do not. Um, the beauty of it is you being a psy freak and going all pure well that was easy purely intelligence is super beneficial for that very reason 
because you're getting boosts to things that technically you really don't need and allow you to adapt to new play styles. So I get to use the blade more often to have it actually be useful. I get to have my firearms uh, still be decent damage while I'm letting my everything else recharge. And uh, I'll call you back, Billy. You look like a Billy goat with them horns and whatnot. We'll call you Billy. Right now we miss Mr. Nam. Where you at, Batty Nams? He's one of my favorites. He's cute. Alright. I'm gonna go out here on a ledge. I want to glide like an eagle. Alright. See a big old biozone out there. Which we should be wholly good on bio. We're gonna stay on him for a second just to see if we can get halfway across this river. The Yurt Fields, or as I like to call them, the Yeah Plains. Nah, I'm just kidding. Alright. Alright. Thanks. But your legs are stubby. We're gonna call in a... It's a Turgle? Turgle the Note? Is that what their name is? Alright, what's up, Billy? So now we just take a quick dash. Past this biozone. You know, be on the lookout for any, uh... Any good encounters to stop by. So any clusters of cars to scavenge, that's a good one. Any scrap, that's a good one. Any shrines, um, stuff like that. Nope, gonna skip it. Excuse me, pardon me. Jump, please, thank you. But anything and everything that's gonna help you in the long run, go ahead and grab it up now. Hop again, jump again, come on, over to. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be. Are you. Alright, you're just villagers. But there should be. No, no, in these? Or perhaps that's tied to a mission. That must be tied to a mission. Going well. So let's Lana, get this done. But another benefit is if you know, if you're going for a big old strength-based character, then here's some extra strength to it. But you still get some of that, you know, extra vitality and such. It, it just can't be understated that you're getting free stat points. Like, who don't want them? You're mad if you don't want them. And I don't mean angry, I mean crazy. Because, see, right there, we just took our 10s up to 40s. And that little, you know, one point in agility. Just cause. But, I don't, I personally don't put anything into luck. Um, it's not a bad idea if you want to throw stuff into luck. That critical chance up is great, but I usually get critical chance off of the equipment. You know, whenever we get to the late game equipment, the add-ons and whatnot I'm going to throw on are going to be critical based. Um, some parts of my weapons built will be critical based. You know, you get the idea. But more to, you want the clothing critical because, again, our spells can crit that way. Um, got some bio points. And we're done with the purchasing of biogenetics. We're going to go some radiation resistance just because I do believe I have clothing for hot and cold and I don't know if you ever noticed but your resistances never go to lack of oxygen just because I mean how can you resist not being able to breathe I just yeah but eventually we're gonna have stuff we uh, need for that actually I think we already got the oxygen suit but then we can get them out. And we're, you know, full up on a bunch of stuff I need to go through. And of course, there's a whole bunch of new crafting we can get into. Um, but right now, 
I'm gonna go ahead and call this quits. What I think we're gonna do next, that's what we need to figure out, because we now have all of these different side quests we can do, but I really wanna get to having Key Spark, just because that is super easy mode, even being on the extreme difficulty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel to the float boat down here in the Surfipelago. And we're just going to take our uh, whale mount and see if we can't hunt shrines on coastlines. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. Am I doing it every time? Anyway, hope you found this uh, informative and enjoyable. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.